Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I was planning on trimming my hair, so I thought I'm gonna film it again for you guys because these seem to be my most popular videos. I have also been resisting the urge to chop my hair to about here, or here. <laughs> I just keep seeing so many gorgeous people with such short hair, and it's very tempting, but I'm not gonna do it today because I'm not in the right headspace, and imagine if it went wrong. I also wanted to talk you through a few of my favourite hair care products. So these aren't styling products, they're shampoos and conditioners and hair masks. And I thought seeing as it's Black Friday and Cyber Weekend, this is the perfect time to pick up hair care and beauty. Because clothing is obviously also great in Black Friday. But it's not always very often that these hair care products and certain makeup products are always on offer. So yeah, I thought I'd share my favourites with you. I'm going to do my hair first before I talk you through all of the products. So I'm just going to brush through my hair with, this is a Tangle Teaser brush. This would also be a great thing to pick up in Black Friday. I have two of these. <laughs> They're my favourite thing ever. They don't come with this black bit, that's just something I put on it when I was at uni. And then I'm just finding my centre part. Then you will need a hair tie and I just like to tie my hair down here because I like a scooped look at the back. So I just do the first initial cut like this and then I go in and sort out each layer a bit neater. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to chop a little bit off the end there. And then I like to sort of tilt my head on the side and bring my hair down like this and make sure there's no weird angles going on. So sometimes I just, so I'll just straighten that out a bit more if there's any extra long bits. Okay, then I like to start sectioning my hair. So I'll just take the top section, split the bottom half, and then I will check that this is straight, which is looking pretty good. I like to just stop about an inch away and then just chop into it a little bit and then carry on with the next section. And then I just take this top section as a bigger section because I'm going to go in and do a few layers in a minute and I'm just going to make sure that that fits in with the line at the bottom. This is my pretty speedy version of cutting my hair. Um, so I then take sections about this big at the top and I draw them out and up and then I just chop straight up and then I'll take the next section behind it I just cut straight up and then I cut into it. I'm going to work on the pieces that frame my face. So I don't think I need too much trimming today. Um, but I like to just make sure they're even as, as even as possible. So I take them together first and just draw them down my face and then I stop about an inch under my chin and just cut straight across and then I split them into two and I sort of go in a downward motion Sometimes chop up into them as well, that helps. This part can sometimes be easier to do when your hair is dry. And so that it blends in with my other hair, I'm going to just hold my scissors and gently taper that down. Alrighty, let's get on to styling. I'm going to use my Dyson Air Wrap for this. I'm not sure if there are any offers on for this at the moment. There could be one at John Lewis perhaps, or Selfridges. I'm not sure if either of those stock the Dyson Air Wrap. There must be a deal on somewhere with it. So I'm going to dry most of my hair first with this attachment, and then I'm going to use my favourite one, which 
is the round brush. I am tempted to do like a proper blowout with one of these but I think I'll just keep it simple for today. I'm going to add a tiny bit of heat protectant and then I'm just going to rough dry my hair with this attachment first. And then I'm going to swap the head for the brush. I'm going to start with my hair at the top and around my face um, because I find those bits dry out quickest and they go frizzy fast. Like this bit under here is just always a problem for me. <laughs> so I might actually spray that with some more heat protectant just to dampen it down a bit. And then I'll start with those sections and work my way around the rest of the hair. So that's my hair dry now. I'm just going to go in with the Redken Quick Tease, as always, and add a little bit of back combing just at the back of my head. I just love the way this looks. I just think it gives a nice sort of vintage look to the hair. And I'm going to add a little bit of the Living Proof Instant Defrizz Spray. I find it works like a hair oil, but it's just a bit less messy. Also smells really nice, which is always a bonus in hair products. I literally can't use a hair product if I don't like the way it smells. I cannot use L'Oreal El Net hairspray. It just smells of Grammys to me. Okay, there we go. There's my freshly chopped, nice and clean and blow dried hair. I'm definitely going to try and find you guys a discount code for the Dyson Airwrap somewhere. There must be a Black Friday sale with that in it because it really is worth the money. I hardly ever reach for my hair dryer. I literally always use the Dyson Airwrap. The other hair appliance I've been using almost every day is the L'Oreal Steam Pod and I'm not sure if there are any discount codes for this one. If there are, I will try and find them for you guys. If you're not wanting to spend all that money on the Dyson Airwrap then this is definitely a better option. It's still very expensive but it doesn't damage your hair half as much as usual hair straighteners do. And it's also super quick and easy, heats up really quickly, which is what we like. Now I'm gonna get on to talking you through my favorite shampoos and conditioners and hair masks. <laughs> so let me start with the ones I used today. These are empty, I've just finished these. <laughs> so these are the Redken Extreme shampoo and conditioners. These are labeled that they're meant for distressed hair, which my hair is not distressed, anymore. <laughs> I don't think my hair's ever really been particularly distressed but these have to be hands down probably my favourite shampoo and conditioner out there. I even filled up little minis with these in my swimming bag because I love it so much. So yeah I haven't found my hair gets dried out after going swimming once I've used these afterwards. There are actually quite a few products in this range. This is the mask that goes with them. This is the Extreme Strength Builder Plus. I'm pretty sure there's another mask that's like an overnight mask but this one you just put in your hair when it's wet, wait about five minutes and then rinse out. I do often find though that the conditioner does a good enough job that I don't need to do a hair mask whilst using these on a regular basis so I haven't used too much of this. Um, I just am obsessed with these two. One of my favourite hair masks at the moment is this Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Super Nourishing Coconut and fig hair mask. This stuff smells very coconutty, so if you don't like that scent, then you probably won't like this, but it's just such a lovely hair mask. If my hair is feeling a bit dry and just dull, I will use this after my shampoo and leave it in for a while, and then wash it out in the bath or shower, and I'm really not looking forward to when I run out of this, which is quite soon. <laughs> Next up, I have the Purology Hydrate shampoo and conditioner. This says it's for dry colour treated hair, which again I don't have, but it's 100% vegan and I think this one might be sulfate free. But also a little tip for shampoos to make them go a lot further 
is to make sure your hair is really really wet this may sound really stupid but it makes your product go so much further so you really only need like a little bit of shampoo and then if you massage it into your hair and it doesn't feel like it's reaching every bit of your hair then just dip your head under the shower or slightly into the bath and it will lather up so much more and you will just get more use out of your products but anyway before I go off on a complete tangent about how to actually wash your hair the shampoo is really lovely my hair feels nice and clean doesn't feel like I have loads of build up around here afterwards and the conditioner is meant to be particularly good if you have a sensitive scalp but this smells of tea tree as well so it's nice and refreshing another hair mask I love is the living proof restore mask treatment um, it says it deeply nourishes and reverses damage so this one I've again nearly finished <laughs> it doesn't really smell of anything in particular it just has that sort of clean smell to it i love living proof packaging i always think it looks really nice and clean in your bathroom and yeah again a really nice mask nice and nourishing and i'm pretty sure living proof are sulfate free all of these masks i'm showing are really good but if you were to go for one i'd probably go for the coco and eve to start with also from living proof these have been a long time favorite for me these are their anti-frizz shampoo and conditioner and again i think they're sulfate free living proof can be quite expensive so if you're wanting to test it out then i would definitely try and pick some up in the black friday sale highly recommend these i've almost run out which is very sad again i love the packaging it's just super sleek and looks really nice in my bathroom. I wanted to include one much cheaper shampoo and conditioner and it's the Tresemme Biotin Plus Repair range. I've run out of the shampoo but these definitely have sulfates in them so if you're steering clear of sulfates then do not go for these. So sulfates are in essentially soap that just clean your hair and chemicals that they put into these to clean your hair um, which can dry out your hair and it can irritate your scalp but I've never had that problem with sulfate shampoos and conditioners and I like to use this when I want my hair to feel really clean and light so those are the ones that I use every now and then maybe like once a month just to give my hair a good clean so yeah those are the shampoos and conditioners I use on a regular basis as always I will link everything I've spoken about in this video in the description down below. I know for sure that there are some Black Friday deals on most of these products. So yeah, I will leave those down below. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!